Hello everyone, this is Spring Forty with Spring Solutions LLC. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the state of Louisiana and its districts. This video is similar to the other districts uh, in the videos that I've done where I show you the funds locator, I show you about how many claims there are, and then I show, go to the website and I show you the policies and procedures. So if you're interested in working in the state of Louisiana, please stay tuned. Please note that I am not an attorney. This information is not indicated as legal advice. This is only for research purposes. So if we come to the funds locator, similar to the other videos, we type in LA for Louisiana. And there are three districts, the Eastern, the Middle, and the Western. So let's click on Eastern first and search. And this has about 2087. So this number could change periodically. So you could still, even though it is kind of a low amount, a lower number, it could change in two weeks, it could change in a month. So you could still work these. If you go to this website, which is the U.S. Bankruptcy Court, Eastern District of Louisiana, it's laeb.uscourts.gov. If we go to the search bar engine, we click on claim funds. So we click here. And this right here is your procedures. And if I go back one, you'll see that it was updated December the 1st, 2019. So if I click on here, it shows me the application information, supporting documents, just similar to the other um, districts that we pulled up. This is sort of similar. And it looks like this goes to the U.S. Bankruptcy Court, Eastern District of Louisiana, so just the courthouse itself. And this district is covering New Orleans. So if we go back to this page, we can see the application itself. It looks like this district is following the official bankruptcy forms, because this is what it looks like. It says Form 1340. So this is similar to most of the districts that use this uh, form and they've already have the U.S. attorney's address filled in for you so that is good. If we go back we'll see the proposed order that you need. If you're new to my channel um, I've stated in previous videos that whenever there's a petition to the court or a motion in this case an application acts like a motion um, when you file that in, there's always a judge's order that is, goes along with that. And so the order will usually grant or deny um, your request. So you would have to pay close attention and, and sort of fill this in. Orders need to go to the court as well. So this is the Eastern District of Louisiana. And let's go back here. Let's go to the middle district and see how many they have. So this has about 3,700, right? So about a thousand or more than the eastern district. Um, and let's go over to their website. And this is just lamb.uscourts.gov. So lamb.uscourts.gov. This district looks like it covers the Baton Rouge area because this is it says court information and this is the court location. So the clerk for this particular district would be here. So Baton Rouge. And then if you go up here, unclaimed funds. And here is your instructions. So it goes on to tell you what unclaimed funds are, how you locate them, what do you need to do. And for this one, it looks like there's an email address that you send orders. Some orders just go in the same packet and get mailed to the clerk or the financial administrator. But for this particular district, you have to send it separately in an order. So again, this is another one of those things where every district is different. Even if it's in the same state, they don't all follow the same rules. And this is another reason why I'm doing this, to show you not only where things are, but just how different they are. And the importance of doing your own research, because there are so many nuances that come up 
I mean, I've given a lot of information on my channel for free. There's still so there's still so much more to know. And um, just having that information is sometimes not enough. You have to go through the process and the different nuances to fully understand it, to be honest. All right, so we really are just scratching the surface. But this is the Middle District's application. It looks like they don't follow the official form like the Eastern District did. It doesn't have that, you know, the block style uh, document. And this is the certificate of service that I mentioned in a previous video that you need to fill in this right here. It already has what you need, the U.S. Attorney's address. And this is the order. And this is the tax paper that you need. So that is the middle district. So let's go over to the last district that I'll show you. And this one is the western district. And search. And this has about 10,000. So the eastern has the few fewer amount, and then it's the middle district that has the middle amount, and then Western has the most. So if you go over to their website, again, if you're new to my channel, please note that on every site there is the COVID-19 uh, updated information listed here. A new subscriber reached out and wanted to know how is business during the COVID. Obviously, I mean, some courts have slowed down in their capacity, but they haven't closed completely. Some of the clerks are still working. They may have special office hours. So just pay attention. All of that is going to be on the website. So before you call the clerk and you find out, hey, are you guys open? Just check the website because it'll tell you right here. And things have been changing Um you know, as this continues to unfold. So check your websites. So if we go up, we'll click on claim funds. And here is the form. So this form looks really different than the other two districts. And again, it's for the same state. So this is how they list it here, but the similar information is still listed. It's the name. It just looks slightly different, but, um, it has similar information. There's the notary language. And here's the guide itself, the instructions. And for this district, you're sending it to the financial department in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court. And it tells you right at the top, send a copy to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Right? So they always get a copy. The original goes to the clerk, and a copy always goes to the secondary parties that are listed. I've made the mistake in sending the original to the attorney's office for a previous case that I worked on, and that wasn't the case. So always um, double check and send the original to the clerk, because I'm paralegal, and I'm in the mind frame of, oh, the attorney should always get the original, and that's not the case here. All right. So read through your instruction packets. Here's a W-9. And again, how different. This is a W-9 form, one you know official form for this district. In the middle district, they had a different looking form. Uh, here. All right, so they all call for different things. This is called a AO-213, and this is just strictly a W-9. So what you use for one district is not always what you use for another, even in the same state. All right, so if we go back, um, that is pretty much it. And this particular location for the Western District covers the areas like Charles, Alexandria, uh, Monroe, Lafayette, and Shreveport. So they cover so many diff different locations, which is probably why their um, caseload is much higher than the previous districts that only had two, you know, or one location each. So this is the state of Louisiana, if you were interested in working uh, in that state. I hope this is helpful to you, and I hope you're able to use um, this information. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.